You may have heard of International Women's Day, but did you know there's also an International Men's Day? It's dedicated to celebrating and promoting the well-being of men and boys. Did you know that there's an International Men's Day? I had no idea. That's a thing. It takes place on November 19th and is recognized by over 80 countries, including Canada. It's a day to acknowledge men's contributions to family and society, improve gender relations, and focus on men's health issues. My partner, his life didn't change as much as my life changes uh, with a new baby, so I kind of feel like, you know, he's already got 300 of those days. The stories that I hear and carry from boys and men from, you know, in different parts of Canada and, and some nations internationally, so deeply don't align with uh, the socialized ideas we have about who men are. Numbers from Statistics Canada show the suicide rate for men is three times higher than women. Health experts say it's alarming stats like this that justify the need to put the spotlight on men. Men oftentimes present with anger, irritability, substance overuse, um, risk taking, and sometimes we're just not perceiving that as potentially depressive symptoms. Depressive symptoms that lead to people getting hurt. Hatfield admits men are most often the cause of domestic violence and abuse, and he says it should not be ignored on Men's Day. It provides a platform for people to put dots together, to have conversations. Along with International Men's Day, this month is also the time for Movember. Men grow mustaches and raise awareness and money for men's health issues. You could say November is the month of men. It's a great coincidence in this part of the world and for other countries who may be doing any kind of similar men's health initiative in November. Whether you think Men's Day is a great idea or are flat out against it, the chances are you have men in your life, men who may not be quick to seek help for depression or anxiety. Health experts ask that you do your part to keep them from becoming socially isolated, especially the ones going through major life changes like divorce or retirement. Be aware of those things and to try and engage guys and try and keep them connected. In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.